Hello folks, uh, in, this, in this video I'm going to talk about the algorithm for threading. In the last video, threading part 1, I did a little demo about what threading was. So, if you haven't watched that video, take a few minutes and go back and take a look at that video and you'll get, um, you'll get to see how I built this little threading example. Now, in th this video, we want to talk about the algorithm. Now, in order to understand the algorithm, I've set up a little spreadsheet. So, in this spreadsheet, up here, I have the uh, sort of a copy of the post table in the database. I also have three variables here, current ID, max ID, and current index. As well, I have two arrays. This, they're both the same sort of array. This one is named the list, and this one is named next list. These arrays are arrays of arrays. The list is an indexed array. In this case, it's four elements, and each element is an associative array with ID, offset, subject, and date. So, it's an array of arrays like we built earlier in the course. Now, in the actual table itself, you'll see here I've added a new field called parent ID. So, if we go into the database, you'll see that in the post table, I've added a new field called parent ID. That's the post ID of the post which this new post is a reply to. So, as I showed you in the last video, if number three is a reply to number one, then number three's parent is number one. Right? So the parent ID is simply the ID of the post you're replying to. And that's all we have to do from the database in order to, to get threading to work. So, Step number one was to add the parent ID to the post table, and it's just uh, an integer. As well, I set the default to number uh, to minus one. For me, minus one signifies the fact that a post has no parent. Just like in our demo of the la in the last video, post number one was a root post. It had no parent, so I use minus one to signify that. So, let's go back and look at the spreadsheet again. So, uh, sorry, if we look at the spreadsheet again, you'll see that I put in the data that represents our example. Post number one and two have no parent, so they're minus one. Post 3 was a reply to 1. Post 4 was a reply to 3. Post 5 was a reply to 2. Post 6 was a reply to 1. And post 7 was a new thread, so it has no parent. Again, if we look here, that's exactly the case. 3 is the reply to 1. 4 is a reply to 3. 6 is a reply to 1. 5 to 2. And 7 is fresh. So, the next thing I just want to mention is, for this little demo, the data here doesn't really matter. The subject, the message, the data, all that's going to come along later. For now, we just want to try and understand the algorithm, so let's not think about the data. So, let's take a look at the algorithm. So. This is similar to the algorithm I posted last week, but I made a few little changes. I'm sorry about the phone. Okay, so, what I changed here was, number one, I changed the less than to less than or equals, and that just makes the algorithm a little bit more robust. As well, on this line here, I added, an, I added this part right here, next list equals. The reason I did that is it makes the algorithm a little bit easier. There's a new concept that I want to teach you 
which will make this not necessary, but I'm going to teach it a little bit later in the course, so I put that in for now for simplicity, but also I've sort of explained each of the functions, and I'll make this file available on the uh, Moodle site, so the idea here is let's go through this algorithm together and let's simulate it in the spreadsheet so you see exactly how it works. So, okay. The first step is, it says, get list minus one, zero, and form ID. For now, we won't worry about the form ID. That's just the, the ID of the current form. The key here is the minus one and the zero. So, the minus one is the ID of the parent, and the offset is how far are we going to go from the margin? So, well, what does it say for get list? It says, find all posts in the post table whose parent ID is ID, and have a form ID and form ID. So, in, in our example, we're going to find every post that has a parent of minus 1, and we're going to set the offset to 0. If you want to make the array of arrays that I'm talking about, there's a little snippet of code here that will sort of show you how to make that array of arrays. So, let's go and simulate get list. So, let's go back to the spreadsheet. So, it says, the list should be all of the posts with a parent of minus one. So, I'm going to go down here to the list, and I'm going to say, number one, offset zero. Number two, offset zero. And number seven, offset zero. Oh, sorry, offset zero. This is the list of all the posts whose parent is minus one, right? Number one, number two, and number seven have a parent of minus one, and it says to set the offset to zero. The offset, like I said, is how far we are from the margin. This is going to change over time. So, let's go back to the algorithm. It says to get that first list. So we've gotten the list and we called it the, the list. So we now have a list of just the root posts. The next line says set the current ID to 1. So the current ID is 1. The next line says get the maximum ID for the current forum. So if we look at that, it says find the largest post ID in the post table that has a form ID of form ID. So, again, we're not going to worry about the form ID, so what is our maximum post ID? It's 7. So, 7 is going to be our max ID. So, we've set the current ID to minus 1, we've got the max ID, which is 7, we now have to check if the current ID is less than or equal to the max ID. Is 1 less than or equal to 7? Well, yes. So, because we haven't reached the max ID yet, there's still more IDs to process. So, let's take a look at the first line after inside the loop. So, we're going to use get list again. But this time we're getting the list of all the posts that have a parent of current ID. And we're going to set their offset to zero and we're going to put that list where? Into the next list list. So, right now the current ID is one. So, what are the posts that have a parent of one? Number three. And number six, so, post number three has an offset of zero, because we always start at zero, and post number six has an offset of zero. Again, the next 
next list is all the children of ID1, and that's number three and number six. So, we've gotten our next list, which is the children of one. So, we just did this line right here. Now, we now have an if, because does every um, boast have children? No. So, if there was no children, then I'm done with this ID, but... This if checks if the next list actually has any content. If the size of the next list is greater than zero, then we need to keep processing. So, in our case, the size is what? It's two, right? There's two posts in our next list, therefore it is greater than zero. So, let's keep processing inside the if. The next line says, get the index of the current ID. Remember that the list is an array with indexes. Index 0, index 1, 2, and so forth. I need to know where in this array is the current ID. The current ID right now is 1, so its location is 0. So, what does get current ID say? It says, find the post ID in the array of arrays and return its array index. So, I found one and its array index is zero. So, the current index of ID 1 is zero. Just as an example, the current index of ID 7 is two and so forth. So, I got the index of the current ID. Now, the next thing says update offset. We're going to update the offset of everything in next list to what? To the current index is offset plus one. So, we want, let's go back to the, to the spreadsheet. To update the offset, first I need to know why. The offset of the current index. The offset of the current index, well, the current index is zero, so its offset is zero. I'm going to set the offset of the next list to the offset of the current plus one. So the offset of the current is zero plus one is one. So. The offset of number three and number six is one plus the offset of one. Whoops. So, what we have here is that ability. So, there we go. Are we okay? So, and that makes sense if we look at number three and number six, they're one step from the margin. So the offset of one makes sense because they're one away from the margin. So let's go back to our algorithm. The next thing is the array splice. Array splice is built into PHP. And it allows you to merge one array into another array. So, we're going to merge the next list into the main list, into the list. Where? At the current index plus one. So, race place takes the next list and squeezes it into the list. So. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. I'm going to take a copy of the next list. And I'm going to squeeze it in where? I'm going to squeeze it in, in position one. So, the way I'm going to do this for demo purposes is I'm going to make some space in this array. So I'm going to, oops, sorry, I'm going to select four rows. And 
I'm going to insert four rows above. I'm then going to paste the next list in there. And that's what a raised place does. It makes some space and then it puts this in place. Now, the indexes are going to go back. So this is now one, this is now two, this is three, this is four, and this is one. And that happens automatically, right? You don't have to worry about the indexes, they take care of themselves. So we've just put ID three and six right under number one, which again, if we look at our threading, that makes sense. So let's keep going in the algorithm. Sorry, I have too many windows open. Okay, so I've now made it to the bottom, so we're going to increase the current ID. So let's increase the current ID. So instead of one, it's two. Okay. Now we come back around and we check. Is the current ID less than or equal to the max ID? Well, the current ID is seven. The max ID, sorry, the current ID is one. The max ID is seven. So we are less than. Now, let's go get our next list. Our next list is what? It's all the posts that have a parent of two. So, do any posts have a parent of two? Yeah. There we go. Number five has a parent of two. So let's go down to the next list and let's erase what was there and let's make our new next list. It's two and zero. Don't forget the offset always starts at zero. Right? That's why there's a zero right here. Okay. So do we have a next list? Yes. And it has how many items? One. And it's all the children of two. Sorry, this should have been a five. So five is the child of two. Sorry about that. So we the next list is all the children of two, which in this case is just five. So let's do the if. Is the next list size bigger than zero? Yes, because, like we said, it's one. Okay, now, what's the index of the current ID? Well, the current ID is two. So the index of two is what? Is three. Okay, so the index of the current ID is three. Okay. And what's the offset of the current index? The offset of the current index, well, the current index is 3, because that's where ID2 is, and it's 0. Right? So, it's 0. So what does the algorithm say to do? It says to update the next list to the current offset plus one. The current offset is zero, so zero plus one is one. So five has an offset of one. Okay. Now, it says do the erase place. So I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to copy the next list. And we're going to splice it where? We're going to splice it right after number index three. So. First, I have to make some space. So I'm going to make some space. I'm going to insert two. And I'm going to paste in that new next list. And then I'm going to renumber things. Four, five, six. Okay, so we just put number five into the array and it has an offset of one. And again, if we look, that makes sense. Number five has an offset of one. Okay. Now, we're out at the bottom of the loop, so now we have to add one to the current ID. So current ID becomes three. Okay. Is three less than max? 
Is three less than max? Yes, three is less than seven. Okay, let's build the next list. All the children of three. How many posts have a child of three? Just number four. So let's build a new next list. Number four is going to have an offset of zero. So that's all the children of three. So we just got all the children of three. Okay. Sorry, we just got all the children of three. How many are there? There is one. So that means the if is what? True or false? It's true. So First, we have to get the index of the current ID. The current ID is 3, so the index of the current ID is 1. So the index of the current ID is 1. Now, we need to update the offset of the next list to the current ID's offset plus 1. So what's the current ID is 3? It can be found where? At position 1, and its offset is what? Is 1. So the offset of the current ID is 1. So the offset of the next list is going to be that plus 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So I just updated. I just updated the offset. So it's now time to splice the array in. So I'm going to copy the next list and I need to splice it in where? I need to splice it right under or, or right in at position one. So we're going to add a couple of rows. Whoops, sorry. Let me select two rows. I'm going to insert two rows above. Oops, wrong place. Sorry. I'm going to insert two rows above. Okay, I'll do this twice. Sorry about this. Okay, so I just made room for the new for the the next list so let's paste it in there and let's renumber so this will be three four five six seven and eight okay so i just squeezed i just did the erase splice i took the next list and i put it right after the current index okay so let's keep going we're now at the bottom of the loop, so current ID becomes 4. Is 4 less than 7? Yes. So, 4 is less than 7, so we get the next list. So we have to find all of the children of 4. But if we look, there are no children of 4. 4 is the end of the line, so the next list is going to be how big? It has nothing in it. There's no thing here. So the next list is size zero. So the if is false. So we skip the if. Huh? The current ID becomes what? Becomes five. Is five less than seven? Is five less than seven? Yes. So we try and get the, all the children of five. Does five have any children? Is five there? No. So we don't, uh, the list is empty, so we skip the if and we set the current ID to six. Okay. Is six less than seven? Yes, it is. So we enter the loop. We get the list of every child of six. Again, there's no children of six, so we skip the next list and we add one to the current ID. Is seven less than seven? Yes, but seven has no what? Seven has no children, 
So, we, there's no children of seven, so we skip the if. We increment this to eight. Eight is now not less than or equal to seven, so the algorithm's over. This is what you now have. Now, let's see if this matches. Oh, look at that. I forgot number two. I'm sorry. Uh. Oy, sorry about that. Okay, so let's see if this matches our list. So I'm going to tear this off a little bit here. And I'm going to go back and look at the spreadsheet. So. It says number one. Underneath that, we should have number three that has an offset of zero. Number four, it should be under that, an offset of two. Number six, an offset of one. Number two, an offset of zero. Five, an offset of one. And seven, an offset of zero. So that's a little demo of how the algorithm uh, actually works. I hope that clarifies a few things, and again, this week in class, I'll be going over how to implement the algorithm. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.